Welcome back to our video series on Knockout.js programming with NetBeans. So far, we've set up a Knockout model to provide the text for this tagline, to pull these names from our JSON file, and to grab the image for the right answer from a RESTful call to a Google custom search engine. But we've been cheating. The app so far only shows the first question in our list of questions, and it only sets the first name from the array as the correct answer. So now we're going to turn this into a fully functioning game that loads the questions, sets the right answer for each one, and defines a click handler to tell you whether you guessed right. So first, let's get rid of some of this stuff because we're not going to need it anymore. Um, we don't really need this hint anymore, and let's go ahead and make this empty because we're going to set it when we load the question. So now that we deleted tag, full tagline, we have to make sure to go back and bind the H4 to tagline instead. Now let's declare some variables that we're going to need. We're going to have a current question variable to cycle through the questions. And whoops, oops. And let's have a solution name for the correct answer. We're also going to bring these guys up and make them empty because we're also going to set them when we load the question. So both our star list and our image URL. Okay. Now we need to get make a utility function that's going to just grab a random number between one, 0 and 3. So we'll call it uh, get random no parameters and we'll just have it return Okay, now we're ready to create the function that loads the question. So we are going to, not surprisingly, we're going to call this load question. No parameters. Okay, so first let's um, set the tagline. We're setting this here because we're going to use the tagline to tell us whether or not we got the question right. Okay, now let's uh, show the names for the current question. Ah, uh, yes. That's a little bug that will get worked out by the time we go live. And stars. Okay, so now we've set the names for the current question. Now let's pick a random name as the solution name. Remember, this is not an observable. It's just a regular um, variable, so we don't need to call it as a function. Now that we have the solution name, let's use that to populate the image. Okay. Now that we've done uh, that, we've set up the question to load. We've set up the function to load the question. We need to change the code that loads the app model to call this function when it's uh, when it's loaded. So right, let's create that var. Let's pass my game in here. And then once the bindings have been applied, we'll load the question. 
Okay, let's see if it worked. And indeed it did. Uh, it just happened to pull up Michael Douglas. Or did it? Yes, there we go. All right. So the main thing that's left is to define a click handler that will tell us if we got the question right or not, and then load the next question. We're going to pass in a person object, which is what's going to get returned to us by the click event. And let's say, so if the name property of person is the same as solution name, then for tagline, let's say right. Otherwise, we'll say you guessed it wrong. And then let's increment uh, the current question. And we'll give it a couple seconds. And then call load question again. Okay. All right. Cross our, oh no, wait, before we do that, we have to actually bind the click handler to the button using the click. And here we have to say parent.guess because um, there is some scope confusion here. So um, it's best to bind it to either root or parent. I prefer parent. And if we load this up, there we go. Who is this? It's Alec Baldwin, right? Is that Leon? No, wrong. So there you have it. There's lots of other things that we can do with this app. Um, of course, uh, we need to put in some code here that lets us know when we get to the end of our um, set of questions. Um, but there's a lot of other things that we could do here. Um, we could do some jQuery templating with Knockout. Uh, we could use SammyJS to um, to set the the URL paths and and then um, use that to drive the current number that sets the current uh, the the current number of the quiz question. Um, all kinds of things that we could do here. Uh, so if you have some ideas of things that you would like to see, go ahead and just leave them in the comments. Um, or in the feedback link, um, and we will produce more of these videos. Thank you very much, and remember to go get uh, NetBeans 7.4. Um, we are currently in beta. You can get it from netbeans.org.